Hello everyone, this is Randolph Parker MS. Welcome to my channel. I just completed the 20 watt audio amplifier. I'm doing a simple test right now. I'm just using my um, DDS signal generator to just put in a 1000 hertz tone. Um, as you can see, you hit you can as you can hear you hit the tone. I I, I can control the tone. By turning the pop, I can turn it down. I can turn it up. Now, the thing here, working with this amp, um, I have to go back and reconfigure the components pertaining to the math to to get it at um, exactly twenty watts. As of now, I have um, different components that's not quite getting giving me what I want. Now I, I'm gonna do more tests. I'm gonna use my meter, I'm gonna use my spectrum analyzer, I'm gonna use my oscilloscope and, and at various points. I'm gonna um add I'm gonna use my um Rego low box to load it down at eight ohms. Right now I just want to make sure the circuit itself is built. Now I would say um if I if if I was to rank this this particular circuit um I would rank it for practicability, um, maybe a six six point five feasibility, maybe uh, a six uh, for safety, maybe seven point five to eight due to the fact that your coupling cap out to the speaker is a fifteen hundred microfarad cap with uh, voltage capacity of sixty three to eighty three volts. Um, your power supply itself, you can't see in the video, but it's up between 35 volts. Um, so when you're dealing with high voltage and stuff like that, you have to proceed with the cautious. And if you do not dissipate your capacitor, you can get a shock. So, you know, again, um, the the safety aspect or the danger level, I say anywhere between 7 and 7.5. Um, the level of the the difficult of building a circuit, I would based on your own personal level of um, electronics engineering um, design. I I would give it a four point five to a five. Um, I I think this circuit is uh, maybe um, it can uh, anywhere for schooling between three months. Um, to maybe a year in a trade electronic school or maybe even your high school to build a circuit. But yet again, you also have to proceed with cautious. So here's here's the generator that I am I'm, I'm using to uh, put a tone in, and this is the circuit itself, right? So again, I can control the volume or the level by turning down the pop. Now I can also change, uh, let's do this, change the frequency. As, as the frequency get lower to 100 hertz, let's try, let's go, let's go here zero, let's move it over to 10 hertz, 20. So keep it at 70 hertz and just basically turn it down, turn it up. So again, this is this is a uh, 20 watt audio amplifier. I would do I would put out another video to do to show you more extensive test extensive testing to show you different levels throughout the circuit. Um, this is probably two or two of, 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 of a four um, series on this um, audio amplifier. Let's turn up the Get it to a thousand hertz. So 
So if we had a thousand hertz, let's turn it down. Bring it down back to about. I'm using the knob to control the value. I mean the frequency. Just to show you the range. So that's it. This is Randolph Parker MS. Um, again, this is the 20 watt audio amplifier. Pre please, if you want any more information about this particular circuit, leave a comment. I can get you the schematics. I can get you all the components. Um, if you if you want to build something like this, I'm going to do more projects in the future. I'm going to actually go through the operation of the circuit uh, along with the testing. And, um, and also rank the these circuits that I come across and that I want to share share with the audience and give it a, a ranking system of um, where I believe based on my I have 30 years experience in uh, electronics and IT so I combine the two and you know for me um, as I get older you know your eyes get bad so you try to use all your tools to utilize all your tools to try to um, build the circuit and things like that, but again, I like to give it rankings, and I, you know, I, I will have a more formulated ranking based on what I think, like uh, feasibility, um, level of difficulty, and things like that. Um, so again, this is Randolph Parker, MS. Take it easy.